So my breakfast this morning. I'm just gonna have some of this 2% lactose-free cottage cheese with some blueberries. Buying lactose-free stuff is really expensive, but because they add the lactase enzyme into the actual product, it cleaves and breaks up the lactose before you even eat it, so you're, there's just like zero chance of getting any bloating from it, in my experience anyway. So I highly recommend. Later. So for lunch, slash super duper really late lunch. I'm having another Chipotle bowl. So I put the turkey in a container and just, I keep it in the fridge and then I just heat it up on its own. So it's heating up right now. And then I'll add all the veggies on top. And that's gonna be my Chipotle bowl. I was craving something sweet after my meal. So I'm gonna have this Lucky Charms bar. It's 100 cows. Later. This is my current setup for taking pictures for Shot Robin's Closet. Currently, I am wearing the Align pant that I bought that I never wore, obviously. Yeah, I just like to keep only a few things that I really like and then everything else I figure I might as well pass on to you guys. So I take the selfie here and then, so I take like three selfies and then I put the item down here and then I take a picture. This is a faux sheepskin, by the way, so no animals were harmed in the making of this. Video. I'm in my bathroom right now doing Shot Robin's Closet because it has the best lighting in here. I changed the light bulb. If you s watch my Snapchat, then you know that I have this thing for like daylight light bulbs. I'll actually show you guys. It just like is a whiter, brighter light, which I prefer more than say this yellow light. I just don't really like the look of it. So these are the bulbs that I bought. So you can get them great value or you can get the them here and you just have to look for 6500 kelvin or 5000 kelvin and that will give you a really bright light last meal i have another omelet the exact same as breakfast omelet and for carbs slash more proteins i barely ate anything today it's super late i'm having this pizza which is this delicio rustico it's really really good all of the delicio rusticos are really good and the macros on this one are crazy 180 cows and quarter of the pizza so this is the meal probably only one of those quarters and save the other one for later hey everyone so today is july 17th it's sunday I forgot to weigh in this morning because I'm just not used to weighing every single morning. Oh, sorry about that. But I remember just right after I kind of drank and ate stuff. So today I just spent the entire day working on the computer. So staring at a computer screen. Really, really tired right now. <laughs> Cute one. 10 o'clock. 10 p.m. Yeah, so that's basically what I did today. It was kind of a monotonous day, so I didn't vlog a whole lot. I did film what I ate this morning for you guys. Right now, I'm just going to, about to head into the gym. I actually took a rest day yesterday, so I can't take another rest day in a row. My plan was to go in and do my upper body stretching and mobility, and then do a light delts and rear delt workout, and then do some cardio. Off the top of the dome, gotta get it, go home, hella late, feeling good, got a lot on my plate, what the fuck is on my mind, I just, I just wanna rhyme, that's the type of shit I gotta do, oh my god, what's the time, can you feel it right now? So I tend to have kind of naturally bad posture and shoulders that roll forward easily and a curved upper spine, so uh, kyphosis. It's slight, but it's there. And um, I have kind of a barrel rib cage, so I think just all of that combined makes it really easy for me to develop kind of like bad posture habits. Um, and I just really don't like the look of it. So it's been my goal for like for a long time to kind of stretch out my upper body and put myself into a better position to get good posture. So sometimes you're so far gone 
naturally you just have a tendency to or whatever or it's from like sitting at a desk being seated and getting into that hunched position where your muscles just shorten so that they're constantly pulling you forward so like your neck muscles will shorten and pull your head forward your pecs will shorten and everything kind of just gets pulled forward and that's what happens to me really easily so i've been really working on just kind of stretching out those muscles and doing certain um self-massage techniques with the foam roller and kind of self-ART active release therapy um, just uh, pressing and holding on the muscle and kind of moving it around and helping it release um, and it's been really working for me so the other day I actually was walking past the mirror like in the bathroom or whatever and I kind of like glanced at myself and I got a glimpse and I noticed that my back looks super straight and like my shoulders look straight and it, I was so excited because it's just so huge for me like I'm just so used to like always having to consciously like force my posture to look somewhat good um, and I was just relaxed walking by and I my back looked really straight so um, it's definitely been working for me so I'll show you guys what I do for that and then I'll go into my regular upper body mobility routine which I always do before every upper body workout because I want to keep my shoulders healthy um, and make sure they're properly warmed up and then after that I'm gonna do some cardio and watch some YouTube videos so it's gonna be a late night for me and I'm already pretty tired but it's okay we'll get it done so yeah see you guys later Hey everyone, so I'm just going to record a voiceover for this section of the video. So um, after the two, three exercises you just saw, um, right here I'm doing a lat stretch. So I'm using the foam roller to help me get a deeper stretch in my lat, which is shoulder abduction. Um, and it's also, uh, as it's pressing down on my tricep, I'm getting a tricep long head um, active release. We can ISO hold on my tricep, kind of just... Uh, pushing on the muscle and letting it release a little bit. Um, and then after that, I am doing a, another shoulder flexion mobility exercise. So I'm just trying to open up my shoulder as much as possible. I'm using the foam roller in an upright position to massage my triceps and kind of any tight areas that I'm feeling in my upper arm. So um, then I move on to a tricep foam roll. So I'm just just rolling out the triceps, just massaging it and helping it uh, loosen up a little bit. The tricep long head does cross the shoulder joint as well as the elbow joint, so it's a biarticular muscle, meaning that it assists shoulder movement, um, and specifically shoulder extension. So that means that if your tricep long head is tight, which mine is, it's going to pull your shoulder into extension, making it difficult for you to get full range of motion for shoulder flexion. So that's kind of the theme of my shoulder problems. I'm getting tight triceps, tight pecs, which is contributing to pulling my shoulders forward um, and down and not allowing me to get overhead squat would never happen for me without these exercises. The next I am doing a anterior deltoid and pec foam roll and um, iso hold where I'm actually just slowly abducting and adducting the shoulder just just allow uh, all of the muscle fibers that are tight to kind of get in contact and just kind of loosen that area up so the um, purpose of doing these stretches is to actually gain mobility so the aim is to improve your mobility by the end of the session and obviously you're not going to totally fix it with one session but um, you're going to be slowly improving your mobility over time and it's going to compound every time you do your sessions and as soon as you stop doing them you're going to lose that uh, so now Next, I am doing a, um, it's more of a, it's like a bicep brachialis um, and tricep foam roll. It's, a, it's just an arm foam roll, so I'm just getting tight triceps. Um, and then next, I am doing what I call like an armpit massage. So I get just really like bad tightness up in my armpit. And it's actually just like really deeply stretching out my shoulder and getting just increasing my mobility as far as shoulder flexion goes but this is like the weirdest thing I get so many looks when I do this but it really helps me um, and I'm just kind of pressing down pinpointing down on the and painful point in my triceps and then also in my lat all of those muscles that cross over at the shoulder joint here I can even see a difference from when I first started that I'm getting better shoulder range of motion and then 
you can see I'm kind of using my thumb to massage out any of the points that I missed in my arm and my bicep, my tricep. Then after that, I'm trying to get as deep of a stretch as possible. So this has already improved since my first stretch with the foam roller. And I'm trying to get some T-spine extension. So my back is, if it's curved in the opposite direction, it's curved in flexion, then extension is the most difficult for me. So I need to really work on opening up my thoracic cavity and kind of allowing my T-spine to get into extension so I can build up that mobility. And again, um, this stretch is going to affect the anterior delts and all like pec minor and major, but it really hits the pec minor. So I'm just doing that one single double arm, then single arm. As an alternative, you can use a barbell to do this stretch and get a pretty deep stretch. And I'm also allowing my shoulder to pull forward. So it's, it's also a, partially a lat stretch. So you're kind of getting a bit of everything. And then next I am doing a pec major stretch. So when you hold your arm out horizontally and you're stretching in the direction of the, the way that the pec major fibers run more so. Next I'm doing a, another stretch. This is, it's almost like a iso hold with band circumductions. So uh, it's like pulling yourself into an overhead squat position. And this again also just really helps stretch everything out for me. Um, I love it. It's kind of what I finish with for my stretches. It's, it just feels really, really good. And it just feels like the band is really pulling everything out. And you can see I'm getting some decent um, extension throughout my thoracic spine. And next I am doing a tricep, another tricep stretch. So it's a band assisted tricep stretch. You can also do this by uh, tying a band around a, an object like a, um, a bench or whatever, something that can hold it in place and then doing the stretch. But here I just didn't have the patience to do that. So I'm just kind of using my other arm to pull. Um, next here, we're actually getting into the shoulder um, prehab routine. So these are actual exercises to warm up the uh, internal muscles of the shoulders, like the external rotators and um, all that stuff. So these are band pull aparts. Um, I try to pull the, I try to keep my shoulders um, pulled back so that it doesn't become too much of a trap. Next, I'm doing my uh, YTW. So I do my T's standing up. They're just regular lateral raises with 2.5 pound weights. I do 10 of those. Um, then I do my Y's, which is kind of like a 45 degree front raise. Um, and then I do external rotations standing external rotations are light but just helps warm everything up and then i do these i call them l's so i kind of do a bent arm lateral raise into an external rotation and i just try to get a good range of motion then i'm doing rear delt flies these ones i call w's because my arm is bent and i kind of make the shape of a w when i do them and that's everything. So um, that's my shoulder uh, mobility routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'm trying to, I got such a positive response to my last informative voiceover, so much to the fact that I was like super excited to do another one. Um, and I just love, I love helping you guys and like um, sharing my knowledge. So if this is something that you enjoyed, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. Um, it's a great way to give uh, feedback and then also comment below and tell me what you liked about it and what any requests for future videos because I know this one was long requested and I know I'm slow getting back to my requested videos but um, I still really appreciate your guys' feedback and I love hearing from you so yeah definitely leave me a comment and a like and yeah so I'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching bye So I just finished my workout. I'm obviously super sweaty and gross. I'm gonna go home and shower and then I'm gonna go to bed. <clears throat> it's probably really late by this point. I haven't checked the time, to be honest. I'm proud of myself for going into the gym though because it, was, it would have been really easy to just not go. But vlogging has held me accountable. So thanks guys for watching. That's gonna be the end of this vlog. Good night, see you tomorrow.